There's Harrison, first catch for Marvin Harrison Jr. McCord has two touchdowns and an interception on the season. He'll throw it here, and that pass on target to Marvin Harrison Jr. Had he thrown one more touchdown pass, would have been the first quarterback ever in the Big Ten to have three straight games of, of five touchdowns. There's Marvin Harrison Jr. inside the 15-yard line. Stroud looking. Stroud over the middle, and it's caught for a first down. Well done, Travion Henderson. So versatile. He can catch it out of the backfield. 11-yard game. Watches the linebackers take off and split, and then they're just going to sink the running back, Henderson, right into the middle of the field. They were trying to drop a defensive end out, but Henderson's right there for the conversion. The only other scoreless first quarter this year for Ohio State was against Oregon. And you know what happened in that game. Stroud. And he delivers again. Stroud. And he finds Harrison Jr. And Marvin Harrison Jr. Stroud wants to throw for it. He downfield shot. He drops it in. Touchdown. Marvin Harrison Jr. On a fourth and short, they find the end zone. What a gamble and what a throw. Took a risk. Shows you the confidence that they have in seven. The Buckeyes have joined the party here. Utah still up 14 7. Wow, they said that's the end. Take it to Anderson. Stroud surveys, throws the end zone. Easy pitch and catch, and the touchdown, the second today for Marvin Harrison Jr. Harrison Jr., the eyes, move the safety, come back, tight throw. Marvin Harrison, man. I think Devin Lloyd's in the conversation. Right there, about right there, the country. Yeah. Stroud delivers, catch made, far side. Harrison again trying to add to a tremendous afternoon. First down near the 40. Looks left, throws end zone, catch made, Marvin Harrison Jr. with a hat trick. Had five catches all year, has three touchdowns today. C.J. Stroud, touchdown at number five. Two to Smith and Jigba, three to Marvin Harrison Jr. It's a Rose Bowl record, used to be held by Danny O'Neill. And that long throw. To Harrison, that should get him over 500 yards. A two-man rush. They drop nine into coverage, but still, Harrison gets open. First down in Notre Dame territory. 90 yards and has the only Ohio State touchdown. And Stroud play action, and it's a long throw. And the catch made at the 48 by Marvin Harrison, Jr. Can they get some tough yards running the ball? Stroud stretches the field and delivers to Harrison underneath. Short gain, tackled inbounds at the 21. So he throws back against his body in a full sprint and drops a dime in there. On the run, Stroud makes a long, low throw, and the catch is made by Harrison. Nice job of cutting that back. Stroud, another long, accurate throw. Harrison comes back, still trying to fight for yardage. Terrence Lewis wouldn't let him get away. And ready to block here on this third down play. Stroud with a good pocket. And he throws it over the middle. And it's caught. And there's space to run. And there's space to run to the end zone for Marvin Harrison Jr. It's a touchdown for Ohio State. State first drive, by the way, after a great punt. That was a 96-yard drive. The last 42 covered by Marvin Harrison Jr. to put the Buckeyes on the board. He was coaching Ohio State that in big games, there's always a player that's going to rise up to the occasion. It was a Buka. And in this particular case, the big player rising to the occasion is Marvin Harrison Jr. He already has a long touchdown catch. Ran for over 500 yards last year, 84 yards last week. There's a quick pass and catch and first down for Marvin Harris. He's not going to the ground. The pass to Abuka for eight. Another throw by Stroud looking for a lot more than eight. He's got a lot more than eight. Touchdown, Marvin Harrison Jr., number two on the day. The nine Ohio State, Joshua. You see the backfield action. You just got hit with the big run. Take the top off the defense, take a shot down the field. 18 majors.
There's a throw to number 18, Marvin Harrison Jr., the catch for eight yards. The 1986 Masters, 40th game as head coach of Ohio State for Ryan Day. You just saw him on the sideline. There's a long throw. That uh, shows off C.J. Stroud's arm all the way across to the far sideline ever since they've settled on playing him at receiver. Caught a touchdown last week. Got a couple of passes early in the game today. Stroud throwing. This time it's for Marvin Harrison Jr. And it's a trifecta of touchdowns for Harrison as he secures it with four seconds left in the third quarter. This is a contested catch. This is a tough throw into a small closing window. They're able to come up with it. That's phenomenal, guys. Little bubble screen, and it's taken by Marvin Harrison to help put away Notre Dame in week one. And they go with the wide wow. receiver Look at that pattern move. to Marvin Harrison and Spencer. That was almost six. Are playing complimentary football a bit more in 2022. No question about it. CJ loads nice. up again. Well, good. It is in the corner. That's a touchdown, touchdown to Marvin Harrison. So slightly to give him the touch because the officials did, but look at that. So they love to isolate their receivers on the outside, right? Oh. And Quentin Mitchell, Quinion Mitchell tried to defend him, Tim, but he was just not in a position to do it. You cannot defend a guy who's got that kind of range and the ball wide. Yep, back right open. There it is. Yeah, back in the end zone. Harrison, touchdown. His game. You think I'm talking about when he was catching him from Manning? You know, I'm talking about when he was in college too in Syracuse. Yeah, and here's the crazy thing about it. What a wonderful control, feet down, changed directions on him and couldn't. Plenty of time in the pocket. That's been the issue all night. And there is Harrison again. Mm. Another first down for Marvin Jr. The Hawaiian moves all over the place. He tries to disrupt quarterbacks. They get it to the edge, and that's a quick catch by Marvin Harrison Jr., who's been on fire. Five touchdowns this season. The decision there. Now it's Harrison who makes the catch. Stroud, six for six, already over 100 yards in the first eight minutes of play. Stroud hands it off this time. And that's Harrison in the run game. Stretches out. Lost the football, but they're going to say... Shy of the goal line, they're going to mark him out about a foot short. Mayan Williams splits out wide to the right. Stroud over the middle, caught. Marvin Harrison Jr., touchdown Ohio State. About 25 pounds on it, but how it is it? Yeah, it is. Stroud lost to the pylon. Harrison's got it. Flag out. Touchdown signal. Two receivers vertical. Safety stays to the inside. Abuka creates one-on-one -on -one to the outside, and that's just your players better than theirs. Put it up. They bring some. Stroud off his back foot for Harrison. Just drops it in a bucket. What a pitch and catch by the quarterback. How about the composure here by Stroud and, of course, Marvin Harrison, the location of that ball. That's third down and long. You're trying to mix it in, like right here, they're mixing it in. Uh -oh. Stroud zips it across the middle. Harrison's oh, running thanks. free, and he scores again. I just, like, there it is. Do you dare play a man or they get burned That's what that happens. Time? You play a man-to-man. -man. They showed it late. If you dare press him and play man-to-man. -man. It's been tough. We talked about Brandley. He's the one that took advantage of the miscommunication, took that pick back to the house early, but he's been beaten a number of times. Harrison. You ever wish you played offensive line or defensive line in your career? You ever want to get down there in the pit? I, lo I love watching the pit because it, it, it makes everything go. And there's another throw. Harrison. He's got it. Brantley beaten again. Harrison just kind of reached back with those long arms and snagged it. Stroud's feet again affected by a rush. He just kind of did a little skip. Throws the ball behind. Marvin Harrison, and he's able to adjust back. See, catch there's, radius. The, there's the length and the catch radius that everybody wants to talk about. He, he's such a different receiver from his dad because of his size. It's 6'4", 205. But Brantley on an island, dare you be out on, a, on your... Strauss, Britton out, looking through. Oh! Caught touchdown, Marvin Harrison. 
Bryson. Finally. Do this sprint out again to the left, but watch the route by Harrison. He's going to push himself all the way inside, and then he goes outside, never stops. First down and 10 of the 31. Play fake. C.J. Stroud winds up. Delivers. Oh, Harrison. What a grab. Third and 10 of the 25. Stroud out of the shotgun. Trips to the top of your screen. Here's C.J. Stroud. Winds up. Delivers down the field. Caught. And a first down. Marvin Harrison Jr. On Kalen King. Stroud to throw it on first down. Winds up underneath Marvin Harrison Jr. Soft hands. 26 carries, 111 yards, and two touchdowns last week against Northwestern for Williams. Here's a reverse. Marvin Harrison Jr. Looking for a block. Now with a burst. Gets the first down. Puts it back. Marvelous. So what does the safety have to do? He's got to get involved in the run game. They go that run fake, and then boom. Harrison is by him because they have to commit the resources to stopping Brian Williams. That's why it's in. C.J. Stroud over the middle. And caught Marvin Harrison Jr. again. He just caught his 11th receiving touchdown of the year. C.J. Stroud, sideline. High and incomplete. I don't know if Harrison, oh, he got a foot in bounds. The matchup is a is a great one against Michigan because Michigan is so improved from what they were a few years ago. And Harrison Jr. Another big catch as he gets to midfield. Every single player on that field very aware of what just went down in the big house. Here's the Heisman front runner, C.J. Stroud, getting it to Harrison Jr. He is so talented as the flag reigns in, and yet he secures that with Deontay Banks all over him. And actually sacked Talia Tunga Vailoa. Second and nine, Stroud, shallow cross, Harrison Jr. Flag is down as Marvin Harrison Jr. for the time being has an Ohio State. Opening series for Ohio State, third down and one. Stroud backing up, throws to the far side. Marvin Harrison Jr. made the catch with one hand. Wow. 46. Stroud. Sideline throw. Oh, what a throw. He just dropped that in to Marvin Harrison Jr. Ohio State quickly into Michigan territory. Stroud winds up, throws a deep ball sideline. Caught! Touchdown! Marvin Harrison Jr. Marvelous! 42 yards! Stroud makes them pay. Watch as Michigan's going to try to blitz, but they do it from the safety position way deep. Gus, that's called from depth. You're never going to get all the way to the quarterback, and Stroud knows as soon as that safety blitzes, he's got one-on-one -on -one coverage on the outside and delivers an absolute dime to Marvin Harrison. Watch at the top of the route. A little nudge to create separation. There it was on Jamon Green, and he's able to create that separation, and then the beautiful throw from C.J. Stroud right in the perfect spot spot and Harrison extends into the end zone last four possessions for these two teams touchdown field goal touchdown touchdown so the safety Marcus Hooker a former Buckeye the court on third down open Harrison Marvin Harrison Jr. no chance touchdown Ohio State football here's your safety what do you want to do do you have to choose one the safety chooses wrong here coming down to defend Ibuka and Jack Ubeck, the receiver guarding Marvin, Marvin Harrison Jr., has no help over top. That's about as easy as get as it gets for a quarterback, a receiver, and a Buckeye offense that doesn't need your help. They're explosive anyways. Yeah, I mentioned that McCord and Harrison teammates in high school, but they connect as Buckeyes for the first time. They average nearly 90 yards receiving per game, top 20 in the country. McCord. Time taking a chance. End zone open. That is caught. Touchdown. Marvin Harrison Jr. for the second time today. Someone told me, Corey, that they wanted to get Marvin Harrison Jr. involved this week. Well, how about that? Early in this game, two touchdowns.
and the fans are sure loving that, guys. We will see you back in 30 seconds. It's a long throw. It's Harrison. Nobody around. Marvin Harrison Jr. waltzes in. You got two guys on him. Anthony Johnson, the corner. You got the safety over the top and Weber. And you got nobody that can run with number one eight. How about those possessions for Ohio State? Punt every time they've touched the ball. McCord off first down. Looking. Goes deep. McCord wide open receiver. Caught. Harrison and Marvin Harrison Jr. Finally stopped by Dante Trader. McCord, pub fake, looks, sideline, caught. Harrison Jr. again, he'll dive forward and get stopped at the 11. This is when young quarterbacks generally make mistakes by forcing throws down the field. Second and 33, he'll force this one down the field. Over the shoulder, and it's caught. Third down and 10. McCord sets up over the middle again. This time it'll stand. Marvelous. Marvin Harrison. 163 yards and a touchdown. Watch him just settle after he breaks over the zone. That second level player. You see how he just kind of settles through that zone. Does a great job. The co-host jab. We'll try to keep the references down there. Second and eight, out of the gun, McCord again, backpedaling, firing, left sideline, Fleming fighting for it, no, it's Harrison, and he's got it, inside the red zone, to the 18-yard line, a gain of 34. Times in a row on the left side of the field, and Kyle McCord comes back and is able to deliver a double move to Marvin Harrison Jr. down the field, on the out and up, for a huge explosive play. That's a nice ball, now G. Scott, the tight end, flanked wide to the bottom of the screen. Pedaling, McCord lofting to the end zone. Caught. That's a touchdown. Marvin Harrison Jr. Marvin Harrison Jr. capped off by that touchdown. Buckeyes on the board early. Six nothing here at Ross Aid Stadium. As Martel Tate checks into the game. Wide to the left. Harrison's to the right. Marvin Harrison catches. Mar he makes a move. 30, 25. Marvin Harrison down the sideline. Dylan him in the freshman pushes him out of bounds. But for Harrison, it's his fourth catch already today. 14 minutes left in the fourth quarter for your first kick of the game. No, but he got the job done here as McCord is still in there and finds Harrison, who is still in there, who has room and ahead of steam down the far sideline, takes it into Purdue territory before Allen runs him out of bounds. To go down and score. First down to the 25 for the Buckeyes. Play fake. McCord sets up. Sideline caught. Harrison in space. And Maserati Marv gets to the 40. I believe it's not just a lack of confidence maybe in the offense, but also a supreme belief in their defense. Accord over the middle, caught up high, Maserati. A defensive gym by both teams. McCord out of his end zone, underneath, on the crossing route. Marvin Harrison Jr. And he'll go out of bounds after gaining 27. Third down. And 11 at the 19. McCord over the middle. Harrison Jr. again down the sideline. Maserati Mar. Beautiful play call. Great execution by Ohio State. And then 18 finishes it. No catches for Harrison yet. No catches for tight end Kate Stover either. Third and six. McCord loves it. Harrison makes the grab. He is special. The last time that Kyle McCord tried to throw it to Harrison, he didn't put the ball in a position where he could make a play. If you put it close... Marvin's working on a different corner right now. Ford wasn't looking there initially. Now over the middle, right back to Harrison, who's going to get that stride and find the touchdown. Deja vu for one of the best weapons in all of college football. And watch, Fortier is just going to get kind of get lost. He's going to get hung up. This looks like the same touchdown that won the game against Penn State a week ago. Code KT, we got to cash in more when we get down there. McCord under pressure, hit as he throws end zone. Touchdown, Marvin Harris.
Carlson Jr. Wow. Who he beat for the touchdown earlier in the first half. The question is, does he get a foot in? Yep, I think he does. Does he maintain the catch? First down from the 25. G. Scott in motion for Ohio State. McCord, middle of the field. Harrison's got it. Just sits down up to the 41. Ture in on the coverage. That's not the ideal coverage if you're Rutgers. Man-to-man -man coverage. They're bringing pressure off the edge. And they're going to go toward Harrison. He turns, makes the catch. He hangs on, keeps one foot in as he beats longer beam. Well, it didn't work the first couple times they went to Harrison, but eventually it's going to. Has the ball, right foot down, possession, ball never moves. 2-10 to play here in the fourth quarter. Third and goal. They go to the left. Harrison adjusts his body, makes the catch. It's his second touchdown of the day. One-on-one -on -one against longer beam. But also, you know, if you run the ball again, it doesn't really matter for the clock at this point. Make it to Henderson, pitch it, Harrison, open space, there he goes, Marvin Harrison Jr., touchdown, Ohio State. Get it to the playmaker, and he'll make a play. They didn't throw it to him, but they're going to bring him in the backfield and give it to him on an end around. Henderson is showing fake the other way. The backup tight end, G. Scott, gets a nice block out in front. Marvin Harrison Jr. is at the top of your screen, matched up with a true freshman, Chance Rucker. No they go to help. And they are looking for the end zone. Harrison, one-on-one. -on -one. He's got it. A one-man wrecking crew. Marvin Harrison Jr. touchdown, Ohio State. Well, by formation, they saw there was no safety help, and, and you're not going to win one-on-ones against Marvin Harrison. Beautifully thrown ball by Kyle McCord over the outside shoulder. Impossible to defend, and even more difficult. I mean, he is magic when you get the ball in his hands. Here's a third down for the Michigan State defense. McCord under pressure. Who else? Marvin Harrison Jr. ducks out of bounds to shy midfield. So a second and goal to start this second quarter. Henderson in the backfield. Mabuka the motion man. Play action. McCord. End zone. Again. Marvin Harrison Jr. is magical. His third touchdown. Watch him go in, out. The little out fake freezes Spencer. And then back to the inside. And I really like how Ryan Day moves him around. Puts him in different spots, different sides. Finds way to get him the football. McCord looking for him deep down the middle. Harrison's got it. Tripped up across the 25. It's his world. We're living in it. He's a Mackey Award semifinalist and has a chance at winning that game this year. A sketch for Harrison. Turns up field and is out of bounds. In Minnesota, but a little bit of space down there. Quick throw. It's Harrison on the slant. Touchdown, Ohio State. 55 seconds of action. McCord to throw it. Lobs it in the air. Back shoulder caught at the 45. Marvin Harrison Jr. McCord steps up in the pocket. Throws it deep. McCord caught at the 40-yard line. Maserati Mar. And a flag on the play. Hanging all over Marvin Harrison. And one-handed, he's able to bring down. McCord. Delivers underneath. Marvin Harrison Jr. makes the first man miss. And gets out of bounds after picking up a first down. A 14-yard run. 8-13 and counting. McCord will let it fly over the middle. the 14 yard score what a beautiful job from harrison and mccord watch as they're going to just drag him across the middle mccord looks right he gets that linebacker out with henderson and then harrison